Game four of the Western Conference semifinals. The San Antonio Spurs have a battle ahead. Can they even the series at two games apiece? They know they can win and now must rise to the occasion with millions of fans looking on as they square off against the Los Angeles Lakers. Round two of the NBA playoffs continue. Coming right up. Game four of the Western Conference semifinals set to go. Welcome fans to the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And of course, David Aldridge is joining us tonight from the sideline. Hey, Dave. Thank you very much. Now the calls to shorten the NBA season continue. One NBA president has even suggested a 58-game schedule. And for the playoffs, one and done. He says there's a reason people tune into every football game. The college tournament in 63 games gets more TV money than we do in our entire regular season. The more drama, the more TV ratings, the more money. Kevin? What's not to like? Everything makes sense. Rest the players, more practice time, and all the things you just talked about. Maybe D.A. less is more. And thanks for the report. So with Rhodes on the bench, here's how the floor looks for Greg Popovich. They've got Ingram. Josh Richardson out there with Murray. Then it's Brooks. And it's Drummond in at the five. And for Los Angeles, LeBron James is out there with Hachimura. And there's D'Angelo Russell. And there's Davis. And it's Reeves in at the two spot. So the Lakers win the tip. Now Russell. Pass to James. To the inside. Davis. Yes. It's James picking up the assist. Yeah, you know, it's like the game is in slow motion for LeBron. He sees the entire floor. He sees it so well. He knows what's coming and usually always makes the right pass. Boy, that defense smothered him in there. Love the intensity. Pass to Reeves. Davis with a screen on Brooks. Back to Davis. And the layup's good off the glass. High percentage look that time from Anthony Davis. And that's one he rarely misses. Murray with it. He's picked up by LeBron. What? And stolen by Russell. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. And off target as he starts the game 0 for 1. For three, Ingram. That one misses. And the Lakers take it the other way. And there's the call on Andre Drummond. Damn. That's his first foul. The Lakers have gone two or three here to start out the game. Fuck. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Brooks. Here's James. Now the pass to Reeves. Lock at six. Pass to Hachimura. Here's Russell with the three. San Antonio with the rebound. They come off the loss on Friday. Well, they made a few key shots, but huh. many more. It was a rough night for them offensively. And you know what? If you're not going to outwork your opposition, then you typically are going to get outplayed. Now here is Davis. Following the miss by DeJounte Murray. And it's James missing. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Here's Murray. The shot. No good. Huh. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. James outside. Here's Reeves. No good from outside. The Spurs have gone 0 of 4. This in their first four field goals. Drummond with a screen on Hachimura. Ingram kicks to Murray. That's good, and it's Ingram with the assist. Guys, that's a more reliable shot for Murray than a pull-up jumper. I like to see him fire away in that situation. So, timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Okay, with your man, you have four. Here they are. The record girl, Van Keen, in ball. Let's hear it for your favorite girl. 
Hachimura of the pass to LeBron. Lakers passing it around. They grabbed their own miss. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Richardson dishes to Ingram. Fires from the wing. And too long on the shot. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. It's hauled in by Richardson. For San Antonio, they've gotten only one of six shots to drop for them to start this game. And you like to see this from Brooks, right? No need to fall in love with the jump shot. Give the defense different looks. And so James will bring it up for Los Angeles. Tipped away. Stolen by Brooks. From deep three-point range. Rebound the Lakers. Davis has got four rebounds now tonight. And there's the call on Andre Drummond. That'll be his second foul of the game. Second team. The Lakers trail. James outside. Stolen by Brooks. And they're losing their concentration here, guys. Just sloppy with the ball. Here's Ingram. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. It energizes everybody when LeBron is locked Damn. in like this on the defensive end. Here's Davis. And it's Ingram with the rebound. San Antonio's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. It's Ingram on the wing. Oh, in the jam by Drummond. Boy, look at the big guy getting tricky. Drummond doesn't waste a chance to get creative at the rim. That's pretty impressive for a big guy. And that's life above the rim. Courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam King. And there's the call on Andre Drummond. And that'll be right. his third foul so far. Here is Davis. And it's Russell in the corner. James, that's a two-pointer. Rejected by Brooks. Part of why he's stuck as a second-rounder. Dylan gives great effort on defense. Robert Covington's checked in for San Antonio. Here's Reeves. Again, the miss by the Lakers. Ingram attacking. It's not going to go for him. Davis with some nice D. Well, I'll tell you what. He's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been putrid here this quarter. Spurs leading by three. Right side. Defense! Defense! James with some nice deep. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Murray with it. Ingram outside. And here's Richardson outside. Anthony Davis huh. grabs the miss. Davis has got rebound number seven for him tonight. They need this. Nice D from Brooks. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going in his court. Here's Covington, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. Here's a peek at the 2 game leaderboard with the list of the top rebounders in this year's playoffs. Number one, Andre Drummond, Anthony Davis third. Those two have been really aggressive in the paint so far this postseason. They provided the kind of rebounding you need in this atmosphere. And we've got a lineup change here for the Lakers. And the Lakers call time here. Lakers fans, your Lakers, Lakers, Lakers trail by five. Prince wide open. Los Angeles with another miss. San Antonio's gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. And it's Ingram missing. And what a struggle it has been. Jesus Christ. A single shot from the field. Passes it to Wood. For the three. A rebound by the Spurs. Covington's got four rebounds in this game. Ingram outside. Covington finds Murray. Now here's Ingram. Added by Reddish. And it's Ingram missing. He is zero for his last however many this quarter, guys. Might need to get him out and let him settle down a bit here. Here's Murray. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Dante Murray does a nice job using that long frame of his to attract contact.
attack from the defense and still get it done. The Spurs making a switch here. Van Vliet's checked in. Lakers trail by seven. Vincent the pass to Wood. It's a hand on it. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. You know, his positioning near the hoop always to his advantage. Just a terrific job to tip that one back in. Pass to Wood. And he makes good on the way. Boy, with a bushel basket full of moves at his disposal, Wood will dominate in the paint if given the opportunity. Ingram gets to Murphy. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. One goes on Wood. Nice work to get it inside and draw contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throw. Vincent the pass to Prince. Wood a screen on Brooks. Bounce pass Prince. Wood. Rebound by Murray. Murray's got four rebounds in this game. For three, Van Vliet. It's hauled in by Wood. Lakers trail by five. Prince outside. Here's Wright. A rebound by the Spurs. 136 left to play in the first. Here's Ingram. San Antonio again missing. And here is Los Angeles now. Down low. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Over in the corner, Reddish. Drills it from outside. And they only want to get in the habit of giving them open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Three-pointer, Brooks. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Brooks has got five points so far. 54 seconds left in the first quarter. And that one hits back iron. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. He's had four chances at the line. Made them all. And he makes the first. And they've been the more physical team. Offensively seeking contact, looking to score in the lane, and getting to the line. A big disparity in the free throws. And that's been a big boost to their offense. First trip to the line for him here. That free throw good from Reddish. No free throws good from Reddish. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Van Vliet finds Brooks. Good on the triple. Eight points for him. Lakers trail by eight. Vincent the pass to Reddish. Wood with the screen for Reddish. Los Angeles with another miss. And uh, San Antonio shooting down around 24%. Obviously, they've struggled. Chance there to push it to double digits, but it's all. How did they miss that rebound? Here's Prince. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. Robert Covington picks one up. Well, I like the fact that Prince uh, does a good job picking his spots. He's not a guy that forces things. Uh, kind of lets the game come to him naturally. And the second free throw, good. And here is Van Vliet. Shoots the three. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. Yeah. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Easy. Spurs lead by seven. And we'll be back right after this. And we welcome you back to game four on 2K Sports. Guys, what's your take on the Spurs so far? Well, you can see these guys are unafraid to take chances defensively. Well, you know, the defense guys is just disruptive, active, and energetic, and you can't afford to be loose with the ball against these guys. So with Rose on the bench, here's how the floor looks for Greg Popovich. Ingram is out there with Robert Covington. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. Then there's Murray. And it's Brooks and at the small forward spot. Now here's LeBron. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Shimura against Ingram. 
Hachimura, right, no good. Spurs leading by six. It's Ingram on the wing. James covers. And it's Ingram missing. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. Out to Russell. It's up a three. Rebounded by the Spurs. Covington dishes to Ingram. And we're starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. Unable to get that one. Jesus the Christ. Go the other way with it. Ingram against Hatchimer. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. Well, the whole floor is wide open for LeBron. I mean, he's got just the right kind of touch for those mid-range shots. Here's Ingram. LeBron with the block. And he's able to get it back. Covington kicks to Ingram. Takes a three. Ingram can't get that one to fall. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. He just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Otto Porter Jr., he's checked in for Fred Van Vliet. Let's take this chance now to show you the list of the postseason scoring leaders. Brandon Ingram fourth. And he's taken off on a tremendous scoring streak at the perfect time. I mean, obviously, he's established himself as a premier playoff performer. Guys, it's always good to see a young player start to mature in front of our eyes. And Russell has been that kind of guy. He's done a great job figuring out how to become a better leader. Let's it go from deep. The shot. No good. And the Spurs going the other way now. Here's Ingram. Richardson trying to break loose. My God. Jesus Christ. The and the Spurs lead huh. by six. You know, you look at Ingram and he's slight of build. And some folks question whether he could be an effective inside score in the NBA with every bucket like that. Those questions are being answered. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. And it doesn't even matter that he's surrounded on that possession. He's got the size to pull those boards down anyway. To the middle, Hachimura. And the dunk by Hachimura. And proving to be effective around the rim. Hachimura leaving no doubt about that one. And it's Brandon Ingram with the foul. That's his first foul. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. And it's Russell missing. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Now Ingram following Hachimura's three-point attempt. Oh, the jam by Ingram. Hey, guys, really easy to see why Ingram was the second pick in the 2016 draft with plays like these. LeBron passes to Davis. To the paint. Here's Russell. Porter pulls it in. Oof, this has been brutal. I mean, he still hasn't made a single shot. No wonder they're struggling. And slam dunk by Ingram. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. And the shot is good. The Spurs lead has been cut down now to just eight on the basket from Russell. He seems to have just lost his touch. Only one for his first five here in the quarter. Brooks from outside. The shot will not fall. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Inside, here's Davis. Rebound San Antonio. Covington's got rebound number eight now on the night. Ingram outside. Porter in the corner. Brooks finds Porter. Offensive rebound. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. And the Spurs lead by 10. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Two points. That one goes. 
Six points for Davis. Boy, it feels like we're tallying every assist, every point, all part of LeBron's expansive legacy. For three, Ingram. The Lakers with the rebound. James has got his fourth rebound in this one. And there's the pass to Reeves. And it's off from three-point range. For three, Ingram. The Spurs rebound. Back to Richardson. He kicks to Ingram. Just five to shoot. And here's Brooks from outside. Connects from three-point range. Brooks has got the lead up to 11 now for the Spurs. Outstanding decision-making by Ingram there. Working it to the open man. Really good possession. Timeout called the Lakers. And it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. San Antonio also making some changes. Drummond's checked in for Robert Covington. Gordon Hayward comes in for Dylan Brooks. And Murray subbed in for Brandon Ingram. Wood against Drummond. Wood kicks to Reddish. And again, the Lakers no good. San Antonio leading by 11. Three-pointer. Hayward, one up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Hayward, one of those guys in the league that can beat you from all three levels. A very versatile score. And stolen by Murray. And it's Murray with the jam. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the emphatic stop. Well, turning defense to offense. We talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. Well, you got to take your defense up a notch in the playoffs. He takes it up about three notches on this block. Here's Vincent. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. Guys, they've really built a nice lead here. And doesn't show any sign of slowing down. Oh. 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 Get out the way. All Murray all day, 24-7. He's really become a lethal offensive presence. And stolen by Murray. Wood with the block. Here's Vincent. And a miss there on the triple. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for San Antonio. They've really been disruptive on the defensive end, forcing turnovers and turning those turnovers into points at the other end. And one other thing that stands out, all the block shots. I mean, staying up in their jerseys tonight. Here's Vincent to the inside. And stolen by Hayward. And there's Murray on the assist by Richardson. And that's 15 points for DeJounte Murray. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. And the Lakers with another turnover here. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. And it's Porter with the ball for the Spurs. Murray with it. And it's Reddish picking him up. Hayward from outside. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Hayward's got such a quick release on the catch and shoot. Even before the ball gets to him, he's already making up his mind when he's going to let it drop. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting a future 25% from the field. Four shot selection all around. Here's Prince, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And here we go, coach's challenge happening right now. This one in regards to the personal foul, seeing if that was the right call. And I think when it comes to... The previous play is under review. He tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology. We've seen replay reviews so effectively, and... Involving the coach. After review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. And Let's the announcement go. on the review is that the foul was called in air. So they have determined to overrule the original call. And guys, this is what it's all about. Getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, 
they got it right with the review. They get it again. Kicks it out to Richardson. Over Reddish. Richardson, good. Richardson's got his second basket. You can see why his coaches want Richardson taking these kinds of shots. The results speak volumes. Looking to end the run. It's Drummond with the rebound. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing yes. up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong. Numbers are reversed. And the Lakers have possession. After Gordon Hayward hitting the three. There's 39 seconds left now here in the second. Here's Vincent. Drummond knocks it loose. A really good shot blocker. I like how Drummond times it up when he goes after those rejections. Well done. Vincent, the pass to Wood. Vincent misses. You can see the frustration in the quarter on his face, especially with his team trailer. Murray for three. Rebound the Lakers. Wood's got four rebounds now tonight. With the step back, here's Prince, and there's the try. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. You know, when Prince is aggressive and assertive like that, it really does open up things for his teammates. At the line, he hits the second from the line. For three, Hayward, and the last shot before the buzzer is off. Quick and smart, Prince finds all kinds of ways to disrupt shooters. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Coach Greg Popovich. Pop, what do you think was the key to having such a strong first half? We played good D. That was four words. Thanks, Pop. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the... Hello and welcome. And here in game four, you couldn't have drawn up a better first half for the San Antonio Spurs. They have earned this lead, and they've done it on the glass. Merciless pursuit of second chance opportunity. Hey, if your opponent's not going to block out, take advantage of it. Seeing how things are shaking down for the Lakers. In good position in the series, but not so much tonight, guys. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan. And we return again with more playoff action from the Western Conference semifinals. DeJounte Murray has been sensational. Well, he left his mark on that first half with his quick hands. Great sense of timing to pile up the steals. Well, I thought it was a great defensive performance for him so far. He's aware, he's alive, he's alert, quick to react to everything that's going on around him. Can't do it much better than that. We've got Davis. LeBron James is out there with Hachimura. Then it's Russell, and it's Reeves in at the two. That's the group starting the second half for Darvin Ham. That bucket in in no time at all. Hayward's got the first field goal the second half for the Spurs. And it's Otto Porter with the foul. That's his first foul. First team foul. Outside Russell. Here he goes. So going to the free throw line is Russell off a quick dribble drive. The Lakers have shot five of eight from the foul line. The first one falls. And then Ingram, he's checked in for the Spurs. And so Russell hits them both. San Antonio's gone one and two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Richardson dishes to Ingram. Over James. Here's Drummond. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. 
Drummond's got five points so far. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. And Davis puts it in. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Here's Reeves. Off target from three-point range. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Pass to Drummond. Ingram outside. Ingram uh -huh. can't get that one to fall. I tell you what, for him, this has been a game to forget. But somehow they still find themselves with the lead. Los Angeles, they have shot 70% from the free throw line tonight. 7 for 10. No good on that one. At the line. Good on the second free throw. Here's Murray. 15 points in the game. Three-pointer. Hayward. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Davis has got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Here's Reeves. No good with the triple. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Richardson finds Drummond. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Here's Ingram. Takes it inside. Here's Murray up on top. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. You know, even though they have the lead, you can tell he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more. LeBron with it. Now guarded by Murray. And DeJounte Murray gets the whistle that time. That's his third foul of the game. The fourth team foul. And being over the limit this early really can affect your aggressiveness defensively. They have got to play under control. The Lakers have had 12 attempts at the line, making eight so far. Glad we got the chance to see that remarkable rejection. It's a different kind of defense teams play in the postseason. Much more intense, more in your face. High energy plays like that one are winning plays. Ingram against James. Now here's Ingram. He's guarded closely. Doesn't go that time. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. Shoots. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. James has got five points so far. Three pointer. And uh -huh. missing. And you know, he's a threat from deep, no doubt about it, but it just has not been there for him tonight. You might want to change your game plan a little bit offensively. And all of a sudden, things finally coming together for them. The deficit is still large, but now not insurmountable. That kind of deficit, I think they're going about it the right way. I mean, they've got to get aggressive on defense. They need stops. And then you've got to take care of the basketball at the other end so you get a good shot every time. And slam dunk by Ingram. Yeah, Josh Richardson is just not a scorer and defender, folks. He can pass it, too. And they double up Davis. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Hayward. Back to Ingram. Fires the three. Bangs there we go. Trifecta. Ingram's got seven points here in this quarter. Man, that's sure got to be a load off his mind after not hitting a single three-pointer in that first half. And the Lakers call time here. Okay, Lakers fans. We have four. Here they are. The Laker girl and team. Enjoy. To end the run. That's good from Davis on the assist by Hachimura. Hachimura's got his third assist on the night. Here's Murray, and it's Murray with the jam. Murray, if you give him that type of opportunity, you're asking for trouble. He is a strong finisher. Los Angeles has gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Here's Russell with the three. The shot comes out, and San Antonio will go the other way with it. Murray, the pass to Ingram. From past the arc. And Davis pulls it down. And the Lakers call time here. Definitely not pleased with their rebounding at the defensive end. The, the number of putbacks they've allowed has been terrible. I'm sure that's what he's going to address during this timeout. Vincent's checked in for Los Angeles. The Spurs also changing it up. Brooks checked in for Hayward. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Richardson. Here's Reeves. 
here's Davis. A rebound by the Spurs. Drummond's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. For three, Ingram. And he stays with it. And the offensive rebound and really the story here today. Even with the big lead, they're still showing more hustle on the board. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's on LeBron James. You know, Ingram is quiet about the work he puts in after practice and before games. Uh, this is a guy who just never stops trying to improve, though, and that's shown up in how he's grown as a player. Here's Vincent. He's covered by Murray. Now, here's Reddish. He's got five. To stop the run. And Vanderbilt finishes it off. Vanderbilt's got his second bucket of the game to go. That's simply an outstanding play. Working the size mismatch right at the rim. For Los Angeles, they've gone just a bit under 50% from the field since halftime. Five out of 11. And that one drops for him. Reddish has got seven points. Well, that's good work by Prince there. Spotting the open man and then putting the ball on target on the three-point line. It's Ingram. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And it's clear he's been a little out of control here tonight. The refs clearly have their eyes on him. And that's number five. And he sinks the second. And uh, San Antonio shooting a troubling 38% of the third. Not the finest work of this offense. For Los Angeles, they've gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. Prince misses. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Alice position, you can see the frustration. Damn. Nice shot by Brooks. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Here's Drummond. Oh, man. Boy, a little contact will not deter Drummond. I mean, he gets physical right back and finishes strong. Doubled by Murray. Vincent the pass to Wood from the arc. Oh, through the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. And he'll go to the line to shoot three. Yeah, he, there was definitely some contact there on the three-point attempt. You have to avoid fouls like that. As a defender, challenge the three-point shooter, but run by him, not into him. Robert Covington's checked in for Andre Drummond. And so it's Covington who brings up the ball for the Spurs. And it's blocked. Now, Reddish. He's got nine. Wood finds Prince. Vincent. And the Lakers with another miss. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. And, you know, Ingram making some insane dribble moves there. And he does it in such a way that it actually looks easy. There's no way you can stop this dude. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. That's serving it up on the platter there. What a nice pass. A high percentage look was the result. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Spurs. And look at how aggressive they were defensively, forcing mistakes and turning those mistakes into points. And, you know, on top of that, second chance points have been a major component for them. And I love the relentlessness they've shown on the offensive glass. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Does it as well as anybody, fellas. Tremendous skill while in the air. And DeJounte Murray gets the whistle that time. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And due to the bonus, we will head to the line for two. And given how well he shoots it from the line, this is not a good foul. You got to avoid that at all costs. San Antonio making a switch here. Jones has checked in. Spurs shooting 38% from the field. A pretty weak showing for them. Vanderbilt with the block. This is his third trip to the free throw line. That's his first free throw.
for Los Angeles. They've gone 8 of 16 in the third quarter to put their second half shooting percentage right at 50 percent. Puts it up from 15. Rebounded by the Spurs. Ingram's got his sixth rebound on the night. Nice shot from the wing. <laughs> Ingram's got 26 points. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Reddish. And again, the Lakers no good. Spurs shooting the ball around 43% from the floor so far in the third quarter. And Ingram launches it from deep. Reddish grabs the rebound. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere. But he could have gotten a better one than that. Brandon Ingram, he's been the guy making things happen for the San Antonio Spurs. They kept going to him again and again. And he delivered with a monster quarter. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. So it throws on the bench. Here's how the floor looks for Greg Popovich. Robert Covington out there with Ingram. Then it's Evan Fournier. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. And it's Jones in at the point guard position. The layup missed. Here's Ingram. Misses from short range. The Lakers shooting around 29% from the floor. Tough night for them all around on the offensive end. There's not a better target in all of the NBA than Davis for the alley-oop. And Davis sends it back. And they get it back. For three, Van Vliet. That one, no good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Up and in on the way. Number defensive breakdown there. No doubt about it. I mean, he's a guy you have to be focused on defensively. Near the three-point line. It's Ingram. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. And Robert Covington picks up the foul. That's his fourth foul of the contest. And that's his fourth. And no doubt he would have liked to have not gotten it this soon. Porter's checked in for Brandon Ingram. Christie kicks to Russell. Passes it to Christie. Here's Davis. And Covington sends it back. Covington's reach, the length of his arms really coming in handy when he goes up to block shots like that. Having a lot of trouble stopping the three-point shot. And they're not making up for it with their own shots from deep either, so that's a double-edged sword there. And Russell gets it to go. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. And they double up Russell. Down low. Outside for Davis. Lakers passing it around. Up again. Davis on the follow. Davis has got six in the corner. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Near the three-point line, it's Van Vliet. Misses the chippy right there. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Trains it from beyond the arc. Russell's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for Los Angeles. Pure determination here, guys. A fourth quarter run that has them looking better and better as we get ready for the stretch run. Clearly going to take a lot of work, no doubt about that, but it's not impossible. You need plays at both ends of the floor, and you got to have a bunch of them. They get a hand on it. In transition, here comes San Antonio. Van Vliet with the ball. A second chance effort, and it's good on the way up. Boy, how about the effort and energy that time by Covington? Just worked his way right to the glass and got the follow-up basket. Russell passes to Hayes, and Hayes throws it down. And that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. 
And so it's Covington who brings up the ball for the Spurs. For three, Fournier. It's good from long range. Fournier's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Sure, the shot was from way back, but Fournier practices these long shots all the time, so you got to crowd him and make him do something else. Jones from outside. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. Man, this looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowed. And the foul called on Tyus Jones. That's foul number two for him. Second team. Substitution for your LeBron against Fournier. We have and Covington sends it back. That's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Damn. Lakers ball. And the Lakers have possession. And the shot goes in. Outside Fournier. Back to Jones. And the three off target. Lakers have gone 8 of 13 from the field since the start of the fourth, sinking the majority of their shots. No one covering. Russell's got 12 points here in the second half. Now this, this is more like it. Nine points for him from three-point range this half. That's nine more than he had in the first. Their third three-pointer in a row. Adjustment time for these guys. The defense has to make some adjustment. Hits the three-point bomb. Reeves has got himself on the board with three there. Boy, the former second overall pick has really worked on this pass. And that was an outstanding find by Russell. Los Angeles has gone to three-point range for 12 of their points in the final quarter on four of five shooting. And the dunk by Hachimura. And for a power forward, he can sure get up. I mean, because of that leaping ability, it kind of offsets his height disadvantage. Jones for three. He can't get that one to fall. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Russell with it. Now Covington defended. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Order outside. Traps in the tray. And how about the last five made shots have all been threes. The defense is just giving up a barrage. Most teams get the message to cover shooters after one or two wide open looks at the three-point shot. But it seems like they have just not figured it out. Let me tell you what. What a good thing that he showed up today. Because without him, this thing would already be over. Jones for three. Hachimura grabs the miss. Hachimura's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Davis. And it's Davis with the jam. He's really rolling for AD now. This could be a big night for him. Four three, Covington. Reeves with the rebound. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Russell with it. Jones covering. Russell kicks to James. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Russell's got four assists in the game. Really nice looking stroke on James's shot from out at the arc. Oh, he can make the three point shot look so easy, just like he does every other part of the game. Ooh, he put a little extra on that one. He does. He doesn't usually finish soft either. Obviously, he can when necessary, but not that time. Not when he can throw it down like that. Boom! Lakers trail by 21. Here's Reeves. And it's rebounded by Covington. Covington's got rebound number 13 with that last one. Jones. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Davis. And that one falls for Jones. And some changes here for the Lakers. And so Jones nails both of them. And the Lakers call time here. That was a good time to call the timeout to try to settle everybody down and get back into their offensive rhythm. They've been coughing up the rock an awful lot. One fifty-two left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Vincent. Let it go with the three. San Antonio with the rebound. Porter's got eight rebounds in this game. And Fournier kicks to Porter from deep. Reddish grabs the rebound. Reddish has got his fourth rebound in this one. Third team foul. 
the way Greg they're sharing the ball tonight mesmerizing everyone's getting to touch it and, and everyone's contributing and we are now in the final stages of this one game four pretty much on ice a fantastic victory for the Spurs it was a standout performance across the board I mean it was like watching a cat play with a mouse they, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted the win tonight will bring the series to dead even at two games apiece just what they had hoped for before the location changes again just where they want to be I mean they fought hard and boy did they look great tonight and, and got the job done and we watched them all night long. No one could really stop him. Just another excellent game it was for DeJounte Murray. And the way he was able to dice up their D with his passing really made things easy for everyone else on his team. Got a piece of it. Order outside. Sinks the triple. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Boy, a fantastic performance. And I'll tell you something. I mean, you get roadkill. That's always a challenge in the NBA, no matter what. And they got it done. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. To the wing right side. Here's Conshaw. Three-pointers off the mark. And it's Wood with the ball for the Lakers. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And the wide-open shot from Reddish. And it's off from three-point range. Van Vliet outside. There's the triple. Sinks the three. Uh, Making the correct read right there. Otto Porter showing you his basketball IQ. And there's the call on Jones. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. The first free throw is good. At the line for Los Angeles. No good on the second free throw. From deep three-point range, misses there. And so it's San Antonio, easily taking this one. This was a crucial game for him, tying up the series at two apiece, Greg. A huge accomplishment. And this series, I think, hinged on who picked up game four, Kevin. I mean, now it's a three-game series, and anything can happen. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Gordon, very nice win for you guys tonight. You know, just proud of the way we fought. We thought we shared the basketball pretty well tonight. Played pretty solid defense as well. Um, got the win. So. Great effort tonight, Gordon. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Well, that'll do it, folks. Glad you could join us for the Western Conference semifinals. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. Now, let's check out our New Balance player of the game, DeJounte Murray. Ugh. 
Ashley had a good game. 